Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm doing a Q&A video. Now, it's been quite a while since my last one, so we're definitely due. Before I start, though, I wanted to ask you guys for some help. I need help with creating a new YouTube channel icon slash logo and maybe a channel banner. And if you guys can help me with that, and if I like what you guys uh, come up with, now I'll give you a shout out to whoever whoever's creation I use. Um, so if you guys could help me out with that, that would be really really appreciated. And if you're thinking about it, here here's my thoughts. My my logo is sort of like a panda, like a panda head, and I want to keep it pretty simplistic, pretty sleek, pretty smooth. And the colors I've been using are black and neon blue. So if you guys can come up with something, that'd be great. Ooh, Berserker. All right, I'm going to go to Mage Tower here. See what I can do over there. We have a rogue over there right now. What do they have? They have two healers, Mistweaver, and a Shaman. Let's do it. See if we can take it. Game sounds very quiet. Hang on. There we go. Oh, are we just randomly taking it? There's just no one defending it? Typical alliance. Alright, so let me answer my first question. Let me bring up the questions here. Alright, the first question comes from Matt. He says, hey man, love the vids. I was just wondering if you were ever planning to do a long dueling video. Like going, going up against some top class players. Honestly, I'm having some trouble with dueling. Enhancement shamans mostly. And it would be pretty sick to see you kind of show us how it's done on various classes. Thanks for the question, Matt. Okay. I'm not really... Ooh, there's a hunter here. One second. Gotta fight. Ooh, we got another hunter back there, too. It's paralyzing. I was on this guy since the other one deterred. He's half dead! Bursting, bursting, bursting! Ah, the turrets. Alright. As I was saying, I'm not really associated with the top players or the best players or the top YouTubers. I'm still a relatively small, you know, YouTuber. My channel's still pretty small. And I just haven't met him yet. So, and as far as dueling goes, you know, maybe I'll make a video in the future of me dueling random people outside of org or something. But dueling is not something I particularly really enjoy doing in this game. Like, I don't log in and be like, oh, I want to duel people. Like, my thing is, is arenas and battlegrounds, especially arenas. Arenas are probably like my favorite thing about this game. So uh yeah. Alright, let's see if we can take this fight back. Alright. I'm gonna burst here. Here we go. I'm bursting. Ooh we got her got her. Did I get it? No, he got it, okay. He's pretty geared too, that's good, that's good. He needs help though. Just the fury! Let me give this guy a lust too. Paralyze the shaman. Lust! Run! Here's some healing orbs. Oh wow. They're attacking mage tower too. This is the mist weaver. Ooh, touch of death right through life cocoon. Love it, love it, love it. Alright! Oh, we got a we got more coming. Wait! Alliance, I need to answer some questions. Alright, going back to fighting the road. Okay. Maybe I can move back now. Let's answer another question. 
pull up my list here. Next question comes from Spikey1467. He says, what makes you decide to level more monks? Doesn't it get boring? Also, great vids, love them. Thanks for the question, Spikey. Alright, you guys probably think I'm crazy, but I have three level 90 monks. I've got two Windwalkers and a Mistweaver. And yeah, I really enjoy the monk class, and to be honest, I wouldn't mind leveling even more monks. Here's the way I look at it. Hang on, we gotta, we gotta fight here. Um, I guess I should get on the Mistweaver. Makes sense. I already used my touch, touch of death on him earlier. He went down. Wow. These guys dropped pretty fast. Pally? Oh, this Pally doesn't have gear. Shadow Priest? Alright. Yeah, here's the way I look at it. I have a YouTube channel. It's all about the Monk class. So I gotta be... I gotta keep up with the class. You know, I gotta play it. I gotta learn the ins and outs. Come up with some some tips and tricks and some guides for you. And I feel like if I were to play another class, it would take time away from me playing the monk and you know, I wouldn't be as sharp with it. So, uh, whoa, lightning storm there. I feel like it's important for me to keep up with the class and I'm pretty dedicated, dedicated to this class these days. It's like non-stop fight at Mage Tower. Ooh, he, he just res himself. Do do DK. Wow, there's like not. All right. Um, I need to answer questions. We're going to a new base. Where are we going? Let's go. We'll go BET. Maybe it's a little quiet there. quieter there. Next question comes from David. He says, "So why do you use Ascension on Zen in one v two, and Chibru on Bro Fist? What's your thought process on this? Hope, hope." you would have answered this in the vid. Okay, I don't use Ascension all the time. I just like to change things up and try out different things here and there. Um, so my thought process behind using Ascension and 1v2s was that Ascension would, would give me more energy regen, which would allow me to cast Healing Spears more often and heal myself more. So that's basically my thought process there. Um, but I don't always use Ascension in 1v2s. Get out of here, Hunter. Get out of here. Alright, this it's about to end. I need to answer stuff. Next question comes from Nick Star. He said a horde is winning all the time. Why? You know what? I have no idea. Anyone else know why horde win most of the time? We're winning right now. <laughs> okay. Next question comes from Eddie Raw. He says, I know this is not really where you post questions, but I came to your channel later in your subscribers. And I was wondering, what class did you play before Monk? I played a lot of classes before Monk. In Kata, I mained a Warrior. In Lich King, I mained a Boomkin. In Burning Crusade, I played a Holy Pally. And in Vanilla, I played a Mage. And I've had various level, max level aughts strung out in between. Um, but yeah, I've played a lot, of, a lot of classes. I think the only classes I haven't really played at max level are Shamans and Warlocks. And the game's over! All right, we have any more questions? Let me just look through them. Um, hey man, I hope this question makes it into your next video, but I was wondering if you could make a video that is mainly about your rotation. I think you did already, but it was so fast paced, it's hard to learn from it. Maybe try putting the rotation in the description, please. Big fan, keep calm, and carry on, man. Well, thanks Gavin for the question. 
All right, monk rotation. You know, it's it's pretty simple. I don't think there's really a set rotation. It's pretty situational. But here's the gist of it. You want a rising sun kick whenever it's available. You want to keep your tiger palm buff up at all times. And you have a couple chi generators. You got expel harm, you got jab, and you got chi brew. Those are probably more of your main chi generators. Um, you also get chi from crackling jade lightning, I think, but that's not going to be like one you use all the time. And you spend the rest of your chi into blackout kicks. It's pretty simple. Okay. Next question comes from Swefty. He says, hey, Brofist, it's Pevix. I'm wondering what made you make a monk? All right, let's, let's leave this BG. I guess I'm just going to like randomly fly around and answer the last couple questions. Um, okay, why did I make a monk? Well, I knew I wanted to start a YouTube channel, and I was thinking about what YouTube needed. And I was like, well, Swifty's the warrior, uh, Hotted's the, the, the druid, Cartoons is the, the mage, Kobrak is the warlock, um, and I was like, who's the monk? You know, there's not really any monks. Monk's a brand new class. Maybe I can jump on it and become the monk on YouTube. So, so that's why I started a monk. I wanted to create a YouTube channel and, you know, help out the Warcraft community. And my last question comes from Elijah Santa Claus. He says, when did you race change to a night elf? I've never race changed to a night elf, uh, but I do have an item called, where is it? Kalitha's Haunted Locket, which does turn me into a night elf. And I think it's a pretty fun item. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I think I went, what, like 10-0 and 0 in that last BG. Uh, we won pretty fast. Hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video. Leave your questions below uh, so I can use them for the next video. And you know what? I completely forgot about this, but go ahead and send me a YouTube message if you decide to make me a logo and send me a link of what you came up with. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching.